Hey, it's Clara and welcome or welcome back to No Can Do. Today I'm here in my apartment and I'm going to flip some furniture in my apartment. If you wanna see what I did, how I did it, how much I spent and what I learned, keep watching. We don't have a big space in here. We don't have a garage, we don't have a deck, anything like that. But I wanna share how easy it can be to flip furniture in your home or your apartment, whatever you got. So I'm gonna flip here in my living room and then I'm gonna head outside to the front steps and flip on the sidewalk. I found this rattan wicker cane chair for $8 on OfferUp. Anything wicker, rattan, cane is huge right now, so $8 was a steal. I brought this chair home and I noticed that it had clearly been kept outdoors for many years. Unfortunately, it was really, really dirty. It also had mildew on it and was sun damaged. Whatever varnish or protective coat was on top was pretty much completely off or was chipping and peeled in places. So unfortunately, this chair was in pretty bad shape. So the more I investigated it, I decided that this probably wouldn't be the best investment for me to try and flip for profit. But we do actually need a chair for our porch of our apartment. So I decided to flip this chair in my apartment for my apartment. First thing I did was just to put a sheet down in the apartment to collect any dirt or dust or grime that would come off in the cleaning process. I used a scrub brush and just wiped down any of the dust and debris that I could get off with a dry brush. After a coat of going through with a dry brush, I used a sponge and some warm water and a little bit of multi-purpose cleaner. I also added a little bit of vinegar to this cleaner because it was running low. So vinegar water is really good for getting off stains. I went in and I used a sponge to try and just get in there in any of the cracks and try and get as much of the dirt, dust, and mildew off as I could. Unfortunately, I was only able to get off so much of the dirt, so I actually went and I put this in our shower, in our bathtub, in our apartment, and I just sprayed on some vinegar solution, rubbed it in, and kind of hosed the chair down with some water from the shower. So you're not really supposed to get cane or wicker really wet. It doesn't do great with water, especially when it's not sealed. But I knew that this had clearly been out in the elements for probably many years in someone's yard, so I wasn't too worried about it. I was really, really happy actually that I cleaned this off in the shower because it was pretty disgusting and there was a ton of dirt just coming off of this and I really, really, really had to scrub the bathtub afterwards. Once I was done washing it in the bathtub, I went through and I just actually used a butter knife wrapped in a cloth to try and get some of the grime out between the edges of the chair. And this was pretty hard. I got into some of the spots pretty well, but I couldn't get into all of them. So then I had the brilliant idea, since I was in the bathroom, to use some floss, uh, some dental floss, and to go through and kind of weave it through and try and get in some of the threads in the cracks. And this did not work super well, but I thought it was a good idea. After the chair was all clean, I Put it out in our living room and I turned on a big box fan to try and get it as dry as possible. 
the sun ended up coming out for a couple hours on this day. So then I went and I put it outside in our courtyard. After it was done drying, I went through with some Danish oil, a foam brush, and I actually used an old peanut butter container lid to put the oil in because I couldn't find like a paint tray. So I just took this Danish oil, it's in a natural color finish, not like a heavy stain, and I just went through and tried to use the foam brush to get in all the nooks and crannies of this chair. This was probably the hardest part. I ended up actually breaking the foam brush, sadly, but then I just pivoted and started using a cloth. Here's what it looked like after the first coat of Danish oil. It was looking a lot better. The next morning, I decided to put on some more Danish oil. I didn't have a lid anymore, so I just used a plastic baggie to put the Danish oil in. And this time I had a chip brush and I just wiped on a whole another layer of this all over the chair. By this point, you may have seen that there were some parts of the wicker that were coming off and just kind of flying around. So I went in with some Gorilla Glue, hot glue, and just kind of fixed that up. If I was trying to sell this, I might use wood glue or something maybe a little more durable or professional, but again, since this is just a project for our apartment, I just used what I had. Once the Danish oil and the hot glue dried, I put on some fast drying polyurethane from Minwax, again just using the same chip brush, and did a good once over all over this chair. Um, I've only done one layer of it, but I'll probably end up doing some more layers in the future after this fully cures. If you need to pick up some polyurethane or Danish oil, you can do so down at the link in the description. So now it's time for the before and after. Before it was really, really dirty, faded, mildewy, gross, cracking, <laughs> and just really worn out. And now it's not perfect, but it is shinier and brighter and kind of has its nice good color back. I'm ready to put it out on our apartment steps to sit out in the summer. This chair cost $8 and I had all of the other materials so I didn't spend any more on that. This whole project took less than two hours from start to finish and it's something that I did in my apartment. If you enjoyed this quick and easy flip, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I have new videos out every Monday and Thursday and I'll see you soon.